That is the first 10 kilowatt hour pack tested and done. It's all back up on the wall again. Now I have to actually go through into this shed. Hey, thank you, though. Sorry. Just knocked on the front door and the gate, and your wife said you were around the side. Just wanted to check if you're here. Sorry. It's not, no, 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 it's okay. What can I do for you, mate? Um, just wanted to see if you want to do something a little more fun. Subscribe. Uh, got the, um, yeah, subscriber. Um, Got the Model 3 here if you want to check it out. As in? Tesla Model 3. I, I would make a very, very bad um, car journalist right at this point. <laughs> I have no fucking idea what to say. No words to say. <laughs> this video this video is just going to be me smiling and that's just the whole thing. I just, just voice over me smiling. And that is this experience. Alright, uh, seems I've had a better offer. What we got? Uh, dodgy ladder. <coughs> Tesla Model 3 parked beside my house. Now I've got to decide whether I want to keep filming. Can I actually take it for a drive? Oh, of course you can. Sweet, let's do this. <laughs> and it's no wonder I didn't hear it show up. Look at that, you good thing. I think we just jump straight into the smiles and giggles and get this done. So. There's no dash, so everything is done by the touchscreen. Yep. How do you... Oh, that's still impressive. <laughs> still throws you back in your seat. But totally it was 60 kilometers an hour. It's just, it, it's, 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 it's just effortless. So how legal is that in Australia? Not at all. Not, Not at, all. at all. This is autopilot. It's just gonna go around this completely by itself. All right, so watch this. No feet. Okay, so it'll automatically see something in front and slows down. Yep. That's eerie, isn't it? That's is so quiet and comfortable. Fuck. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's not being ready for it. <laughs> no, that's the best part. Alright, there's this dude beside us. Have you ever seen the new Tesla Accelerate? Go for it, mate. I'd love to. <laughs> you really should be watching the lights. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> watching would have been really important. He's gonna catch up to us. We'll see if we get a reaction. <laughs> He's gonna catch up to us eventually. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's gold. underneath the camera. Yep, then open the door. Just by push and then you notice the chair automatically moves to your position. That's wanky. Yep. Just over there. Yep. You've got your Drivers down. So it's just like an so foot on the brake. Foot on the brake. There we go. Try now. Oh, wow, it even changes that. Okay. And just like the leaf, just accelerate and just. Yep. No parking brake. Uh, you've already disabled it. It's on the pedal. I have to admit, I'm absolutely shit scared again for the second time trying this on. Exactly how much money is this? $78,000. $78,000, right, yeah. Um, okay, so the indicator is on the other side yep. of the steering wheel. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Let's err on the side of caution. I wouldn't. I am going to assure <laughs> you. It's just 50 kilometers an hour and I barely touched the accelerator. Oh, it breaks so well. So how often do you actually have to put your foot on the brake? That reach? Not very. Holy heck. I'm, I'm fine, I keep looking for the speed. Hmm. Even the brake, even you take your foot off the accelerator, the brakes are linear it's just it just slows you down there's no urgency or oh, but how do you, so how do you do the cruise control thing yeah, so cruise control you pull down on the dry stick that you had before yep. once now that's on cruise control <clears throat> so that just sits on so that's not auto steering that's just following the car in front if the car was closer so if you go up to a set of lights, it'll stop you at the set of lights. Nice. Pull it down twice. And that's autopilot. So I've got my... Ah, oh, so that was the car coming out in front. Yep. Ah, uh, there we go. That's an eerie feeling. I've got my hands on the steering wheel, but they, it's a very loose grip, so I can feel the car actually yeah, steering so for itself. Put your foot on the brake. You'll need to take control over this part. No, that's all right. And yeah, just go around the roundabout as you normally would. Wow. This is not going to make for very good video because I am absolutely shit scared of actually doing any damage. <laughs> So does it autopilot even if it's not on autopilot? Um, I've seen a few cases. Okay, hold on. Yeah, go for it. There goes this 3D <laughs> camera. That is just remarkable. That was zero to 80 kilometers an hour and it was just like pushing a pram downhill. So this has got this has got no launch control or anything like that, does it? No. no. Okay. I, I would make a very very bad um, car journalist right at this point because <laughs> I have no fucking idea what to say. No words to say. This video this video is just going to be me smiling, and that's just the whole thing. I just just voice over me smiling, and that is this experience. The standard wall charger. Oh, that um, comes with it. Yeah. Free with the car. Um, up to 32 volt, uh, 32 amp. Pretty sure it's designed for three days. Right? Can I break the warranty seal? No. <laughs> I, I literally haven't opened it. That's the thing. Um, I haven't got keys. I open it. <laughs> Good enough. Oh, do you want some? And some old school keys. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Tesla problem this, number one. This feels so wrong. <laughs> oh. 
Put the wifey can't leave it alone. How was your test drive, babe? This is, this is, this, is, your, uh, this is quite ad hoc. I'll put these, oh, we're, we're gonna get closer to these going back in my pocket. Oh, that's a, oh, this is, this is. That's a proper uh, destination charger. Oh, cool. Everything's branded. Remember when we pulled that um, Tim's Tesla apart? Yeah. My lens, everything was branded. You went behind the light and it was branded Tesla. Brake shoes and calipers. And... No, that's the uh, oh, eight amp. Oh no. <clears throat> oh, okay. And I bet you did detect whether it's an eight amp plug yeah. or not too, wouldn't it? It does. Um, for single phase thirty two amp or s whichever outlet it was. So this is the one you can unplug at the shopping centre, the compactor, and plug it in. <laughs> and that's uh, technically twelve amp, according okay. to Tesla. Okay, so in Australia we call that a ten amp, just because it's got the bigger negative. No, fifteen. Oh, 15, okay. And they just plug straight into... That's awesome. As I've been filming for the last couple of days, weeks, months, years, or however long, my batteries are not ideally placed to actually do this video, but we're gonna give it a crack anyway. The spread's fairly decent, but like I said, I have been filming and stuff like that. There we go. I just need to take it out of dog mode. What's dog mode? <laughs> That's kind of cute. Right out, let's charge him with the Tesla. Now, we were having problems with this GPO, kept tripping. Don't know what's going on there. We'll call an electrician. But we're drawing 8 amps by the look of it from the batteries at the moment. Because we do have the solar cranking in the middle of the day as well. We'll have a quick look here. We've got battery mode, so we're pulling 2,530-ish watts where we are. So 2,500 watts, so we're pulling 10 amps. But we're also charging from solar, so we've got 51 volts on the batteries. Where is it? 513 there, and we're doing about 30... 30 amps up here, uh, 30.9. So if we turn these off, it goes to zero, goes to zero there. It'll give us a true reading on what it's actually drawing from the battery. So we're pulling 50 amps out of the batteries at the moment. So that's, that's not horrible. These inverters could do that all night long, as long as the battery didn't go flat. And the batteries will get to a certain point and then it'll, the shunt trip will trigger and the battery will turn off the batteries anyway, so it's not dangerous. Mm -hmm. It just means we run all night without the fridge and freezer on. Yeah, which is kind of dangerous. So you're charging at 18 hours and 5 minutes remaining. Yeah. So 4 kilometres an hour, 5 kilometres an hour. Okay, well, I'm back to 2 kilometres an hour. Okay. That's basically the voltage that we're getting from the house yep so that's that's directly from the power wall yeah 226 volts so if we go up here where is it 230 volts yeah that's that's good that's good enough so so no we can't no we can't because want the uh so the plug that we're using oh, is set okay. to max 8 amp oh, we can't okay. decrease it oh, okay but still, that's that's for a no, that's just for a normal power wall. Eight amps is two hundred fifty watt. That's nothing. That's a what a third of my capacity of my inverter charging. Yeah. So although it was a bit of a hassle trying to work out which power points worked, now that we've got that sorted, it's just a matter of plugging it in, coming back the next morning, and what do we got? This is going to require me to maths on the fly, guys. It's been fluctuating between zero kilometers per hour charge and five. Okay. So I think it's negotiating with the power more than anything, exactly how much it can drain. Yep. Um, if we had a steady stream of like 230 volts, yeah. 250 volt, it actually comes up to about like 20 kilometers an hour. Okay. 
But so it is charging it, it's just not giving us... Oh, there you go, one or two kilometres an hour. Was that the AC you just turned on? Yeah, I'm turning it off. Oh. Because I think that there's a chance that that's affecting it a little bit. Ah, oh, there we go. That's up to 10 kilometres an hour, 12 kilometres an hour, 11. So that's better. So that'll give it overnight from my power wall, that would give it 100 kilometres of range. Yeah. So after charging the air conditioning and everything off, we've, we've shut everything down. We're getting about 9 or 10 kilometres. Here we go. And there's an hour. So that's completely off, yet your phone can still communicate with the car. Yeah, just give it a sec. It's still going about 10, 11 kilometres an hour. That's close to about the same as what we were getting before without, without the car, but we are still sitting in it, so maybe that is affecting it. So because the aircon's now turned off yeah. completely, it should start to pick up a little bit. But I'm in saying that, it is getting quite hot. Yeah, it's <laughs> getting very uncomfortable. <laughs> um, can we turn the screen back on again? Yep. Turn the aircon back on. <laughs> okay, so if we turn the air conditioner back on again. So that air conditioning, that, that draws quite a bit from the batteries. Yeah. We're, we're talking, that's, that's drawing eight amps or something, eight to 10 amps from the batteries, <laughs> just running the air conditioner. I didn't say that, it's not. So that's pretty much it, we'll never charge your car at this rate. But we'll be cool. Yeah, we'll be cool. Well, well that's it. <laughs> that's all we need. <laughs> <laughs> so we're burning two, about 2,000 odd watts from my power wall to be cool. Yep. I'm saying that, this is going down to 15 degrees. We're in Australia and it's like 30 degrees, oh, it's 29 degrees outside. Where is it? There we go, 29 degrees. I'm pretty sure if we do you know, 20 hours, 23 hours, 24 hours. Ah, oh, okay, it actually tells you how much longer it is to charge the car. Five amps. Max eight. That is still very cool. The fact that we can charge, oh, okay, so that's, so 18 hours. So that, that's what's theoretical time to fully charge. Yep. Yes. That's if the car is completely turned off, we're out of the car and we leave it. That's not horrible. Considering you can charge this car completely off grid if you wanted to. Yeah. With zero from the grid. That that's is cool as heck. At one point this will actually um, drain your batteries completely. Because you've heard what? Yeah, I've only got 40 kilowatt hours. Yeah, it'll drain. Yeah, but you, you've got to remember, during the day, I can, I can pump True. three or four times what is going out of the battery with my solar. So there is, a, there is that recovery as well during yeah. the day. So technically speaking, if the batteries are fully charged, in 18 hours time, this battery could be fully charged and still running the house. Yeah. It'd hurt the batteries and it wouldn't do them any good, but it no. can still do it. Yeah, you can do it. That's really cool stuff. Anyway, Aaron, I think this is a wrap. I think we can... Actually, it's really nice in here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think we just lost a couple of range. <laughs> well, we can look at the video. <laughs> How can we have... From, from the air conditioning from alone, we lost kilometer. a kilometre of range. Yeah, we did. 135. <laughs> Whoops. So tubers, um, running a Tesla Model 3 with the air conditioner at 8 degrees, or some insanely cold temperature, 15. Um, we lose a kilometre an hour of range charging the car. <laughs> I think if nothing else I've learnt something new, so for that Aaron, 
I am very, very thankful for you stopping by and letting me have this play and stopping me from editing this other video. Yeah. Just turn on the heat warmers, the seat warmers as well, so it's going to lose a little bit more range. <laughs> <laughs> Can you turn the heater on and see what it does? Oh, yeah. Can we look at that graph where it, how much energy is using from? Is is that something you can do while it's charging? Uh, we can check. Okay, so my 30, 134 kilometers available. Yep. Um, but my driving style is projected to 104. <laughs> Have you thought about changing your driving style? <clears throat> nope. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> Notice that your ass is getting warm? Yeah, our ass is getting really warm actually, Aaron. That's um mm. it's kind of a little unsettling that your ass is making me warm. My ass is getting warm because of your car. Anyway, now we're digressing, we're going into mighty car mods type <laughs> <laughs> profanities. Um, I don't know where you want the aircon to. I love that animation. Obviously that is pertaining to that cap there. So if you want aircon that's on heat, isn't it? That can't be cold. You told me to put it on heat. I could actually tell... That's freaky. I don't even know how well you can see that given the glare. Oh, and yeah, let's, let's get this down. Again, I'm going to reiterate, we need screen capture on this so all the YouTubers can get a lot better fun. Yeah. A lot better footage rather than waving the camera around. Right, our tubers, I'm going to call that a video. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.